What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Gum here. Gonna be trying out a little game for you guys called The Unique Adventure. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright, guys, so today I'm gonna be jumping into the game I talked about on the podcast yesterday called The Unique Adventure. This game is on the Indiegogo for another four days uh, or three by the time I post this video. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll jump right into it. Uh, it's a sort of a. Uh, if you haven't listened to the podcast, this is a sort of Stanley Parable type game. It's it's this is only the demo of the game though, so we'll be trying it out and see what happens. So let's just jump right in. Let's go. <coughs> Once upon a time, actually three months ago, All right. Elizabeth and Alexander Walker decided to expand their business in Germany. It was no ordinary business though. Just in the past year. It had given them access to a number of perks. Low and middle class people could only drink that. A 12 room apartment in London oh. with a wonderful view to the polluted streets, their own brand of cars, and a personal driver named Jeremy. Aww. Life was great. With the exception of one little issue a broken Dorex condom. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Even though what happened in that rainy night is something you'd call an accident, the Walker family had great hopes for their son. Now, to make this adventure more personal, we are giving you the unique opportunity to name our main character. Really? So many games out there lack in giving the player choices. But not this game. Oh no. This is the unique adventure after all. Okay. Uh, let's call him John. Was it, was it a girl? I don't remember. Whoa! A truly amazing name. There you go. Bob it is. Damn it. <laughs> right, where did we leave off? Ah, yes. The Walker family. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, like I said. <laughs> so Bob had to finish his studies in London. After all. It's exactly like Stanley Parables. A great doctor someday. Passionate, caring, and responsible were just a small part of the huge list of adjectives his parents used to describe him. This is where our adventure begins. All right. One, two. Just as our hero was going home, his drunk and enlightened mind came up with a brilliant idea. Why not visit his ex-girlfriend? Oh, of course, that's always the best idea when you're drunk. Am I doing something? Not yet. Ah, yes, the drunken state Even where... Better. Why not do it? The of course. Drunk fence ex-girlfriend. What could go wrong? That could go wrong. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh boy. In this very second, all the sorrow in the world was of no comparison of what Bob felt. Still slightly intoxicated, Bob took a quick look around, only to realize that he was in an unfamiliar room. Mm. I've been kidnapped, he thought. His thoughts, however, were interrupted by his need to drink water. At this point, Bob decided to get up by pressing the E key. The E key, right? Okay. We're getting up, Bob. Let's get up, Bob. Let's do what the man told, tells us. Bob wondered whether he was still drunk or if the room I really don't had know. started spinning. Either way, he decided to move forward by pressing W. Are we really going to go through this? No, 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 no. That doesn't seem right. No one could walk that easily with a hangover. Let's see. Due to the nature of all the alcohol he had just consumed, our hero had a very hard time coordinating his limbs. Perhaps pressing T will yield a different result. Look at him go. I'm sure why why T would be so proud in this very moment. God damn it. Move only forward, 
might be awkward. So I'm throwing a hole. Oh, really? T. I want to show you how what the fuck? Are. So, wait a second. We need an adventurous song for this. Ah, that's more like it. I came up with an idea to ensure you'll take this. Oh my god, these keys are. If Bob doesn't drink water in the next two minutes, he will die. Are you serious right now? No, I know. You're probably getting a rush of adrenaline at this moment. But trust me, you have plenty of time. This also happens to be the perfect opportunity for you to take part in my survey. Do you prefer cats or dogs? Are you kidding me right now? Uh. Stranger's home. What would you do? Drink water. This is a stupid decision. <laughs> one, I promise. Tell me what your favorite color is, and I'll let you know what it says about you. Your color means. Oh. No. Come on. <laughs> it means you are bold and sexually charged. I want to keep that out of my game. Oh boy. Participating in this important scientific research. Oh, and you should get on with your water machine. The line that separates us from the rest of the animals is very thin. We have something called manners. Can you just give me the god? And he would rather die thirsty than make himself look like a man with no beliefs. This is why Bob refuses to drink straight from the tap. Are you kidding me right now? All right, it's T to move. God damn. There you go. Jesus so Christ. refreshing. Bob could feel a huge sensation of life going down his throat with each sip of water he drank. Now he could finally have a peaceful look around. Every piece of information about his whereabouts would be a blessing. Once Bob feels satisfied with the gathered info, he could leave the apartment. Okay. Oh, and you can move with double Oh, ASD thank again. fucking God. Don't need to thank me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, this this is good. So, sorry if the game's a bit, um, has a bit of lag. That's my computer. It's not the game itself. So, sorry about that. Has a sort of a wish-washy effect. Life has two rules. One, never never quit. Two, always remember rule number one. All right, let's, let's, uh, you know what? Let's get out of here. We, l we've lingered long enough. Oh, d d d okay. Hold on. Bob forgot his shoes in the apartment. He should go back and put them on. You know what? Did I really forget my shoes? Wait, I don't have any feet. I guess we'll put them back on. Can I crouch? No? Fuck it. Let's leave. Floor 13. Lucky floor 13. Bob suddenly felt an immense pain down in his feet, resulting in him slowing down. Oh no. If only he had some shoes on. God damn it, am I really gonna have to go put some shoes now? Hello? That's a nice little city there. There's no running. Ah oh, shit, the door's closed. Bob was really tired and wanted to go back to sleep. Um, I'm sorry, but that's not what I imagine when I hear adventure. To his surprise, the door was locked. Such magic. Okie dokie. Where are we going now? Hello?
Call 991. God damn it. Where am I supposed to be going now? Oh, there. Don't answer. It isn't your phone. Just turn around and walk away. But I want to answer the phone. I'm answering the phone. When will you start listening? I gave you a clear instruction and you still decided to screw it all up. You just don't seem to trust me. Do you? No, I don't. What I know for a fact is that if you didn't hear the phone ringing, you wouldn't have picked it up in the first place. I have to discipline you now. I'm sorry. To make sure that won't happen again, I am turning your sound effects off. If you're a good boy, I will turn them back on later. <laughs> oh, come on. That's not Is nice. Door even there, Bob thought. Which one? That one? Oh, the white door? Huh. Oh, what the fuck? What's this screw shit going on here? Oh, I can't even hear the goddamn sound effect. How dare he? More hallway. That's not really cool. Guess we're gonna have to try every door and shit. Broken glass. Still on floor 13. Is that the exit? Nope, doesn't. Doesn't work. I guess we have to go through the white doors. Huh. There's another white door over there. God darn it. Gosh darn it. Alright, let's keep going. What the fuck is that? Another choice. How quirky. Whoa, okay. Horror comedy. Huh. I'm more of a comedy kind of guy. Uh, let's go with comedy. Huh. Or let's go with horror. That door's not too spooky. Hmm. Let's go with comedy. Let's see what happens here. Oh, the fuck? Door open on its own. What the hell is this? All right, just look forward. Am I going to be doing stand-up or something, or... Hello? Oh. Imagine if you had listened to me. You wouldn't just see the crowd jump up and down in silence. I had a whole set of 15 jokes at my disposal, ready to make your day. Oh, jeez. What a pity. Well, shit. On tonight's show, starring... Stand up comedy night, Bob the Exuberant. Sorry, that's my that's my that's the light, guys. Sorry. Could have turned it on there, and narrator. Would really appreciate that. A panda. What's this way? Oh. 
Does that lead to the same place? Oh, that's probably the other door, like to the horror door. Hmm. I'm curious what would be behind that door, but too late now. Ooh, a panda would. <laughs> Jeez. Bullet holes. We have to be careful. I don't want to get shot up in this little hallway. There's not much space for me to go. Wow, this game's really annoying with no sound from it. Wait. Go back and stare at that canvas. What? Wait, the canvas was on the other wall. This canvas? I am very delighted to see that you're more willing to cooperate now. We got off on the wrong foot, but <laughs> this is behind us now. As a sign of gratitude on my side, Bob could hear sounds again. What sound? Don't hear anything. Ah, there you go. That's a creepy ass hallway. There was a big decision in front of Bob now. In the first scenario, Bob finds a very important object somewhere in this house. This mysterious item is extremely vital for our hero to find his way out of this building. Okay. In the second scenario, the region responsible for all the decision making in Bob's brain malfunctions, making him somehow similar to a monkey. Or in other words, he leaves without finding the important object. Okay, so I guess I'm going to find the important object then. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Determined to see the outside world once again, Bob has proven us that he's capable of carrying out commands flawlessly. Perhaps Bob was actually destined to join the army. Eh, not really. Okay, so now where's the exit? Don't fall over the edge now, Bob. There's no exit this way, so... Hmm, these, that's a cool graffiti. Of course, the hallway's completely different now. Ah. Oh, what's this? Can I get in there? Nope. That's some freaking a freaky ass sounds. I'm still on the 13th floor. Hmm. Welcome to the room. It is an amazing 3D first person narrative driven adventure trial and error escape game. In this amazing 3D first person narrative driven adventure trial and error escape game, you have to find a way out of this room. God damn it. You can start by looking in the drawer for a key. The low resolution of this texture makes the note impossible to read. <laughs> that's that's good. That's good. Perhaps I've put it somewhere else. Um, I meant perhaps someone had put it somewhere else. Huh. can't move that picture there's cabinets here but can't seem to reach them come on move around oh oh i can okay oh to open maybe the cabinet up there okay shift
Ja. Hallo? Hmm. Oh, there's the key. Am I stuck now, really? Boy, this is very important. Now stop whatever you're doing and listen. All right, I'm listening. Before, there are two cupboards. The key unlocks both of them, but it will break after opening one. You know, game logic. Do not question it and glue your ears to my voice. You, Bob, you need to, no, you have to open the left cupboard. It is your only chance of getting out. Okay. Open the left. I should have checked this room before you walked in. This is a catastrophe. First the key and now this. Someone must have pranked my story. Um, well, I myself am out of ideas here. Everything has clearly changed. Mm. But it is an escape room after all. There must be a way to escape it. Try looking around and see if you can find something. Hmm, nothing of importance here. This? the unique adventure so it revolves around a simple room can you imagine that would have been a severe disappointment mm. not just for you but for me as well i mean oh boohoo carefully preparing this experience of yours and messing up in such a stupid way could have ruined everything great job bob all right let's keep going then I could have easily escaped from that vet there. Alright, let's go back to the, this door. This is gonna, the hallway is gonna be different. Is that the exit? Bob was the biggest challenge he has faced so far. You should grab something to write on for the next part. I'll wait. Just press E. When you're ready. You serious right now? And just to make sure this goes according to plan, would you kindly stay still? Ah, uh, great. Do I need to write something down here? All right, I got. I got. I think I got a piece of paper. Let's try this. Out. Good. Ahead lies a very complex system of corridors. In order for Bob to safely traverse through. He has to go left, then twice to the right, once again to the left, then straight forward, and finally to the right. If Bob, for some crazy reason, forgets the instructions, all he has to do is press B. Bob seemed to have inherited his great-grandmother's memory. <laughs> left, right, right, left, straight, right. Wait, do, do, did he mean from the first door, or...?
I'm assuming he means by the first door, right? Or maybe not. Alright, let's go. Left, right, right, left, uh, straight. Okay. Oh, Okay. Hmm. Okay, the start is there. Okay. Right, left. Right. Right. Hmm. Left. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Another huge screw up. For Bob's list. He must be so used to them by now. I followed the instructions. The whole world hated him. Sorry, okay. Left. Do I have to go all the way to the end of that corridor before I turn left or Oh, this right doesn't count. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. My bad. Left. Right. Now it makes all it makes sense now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. So far so good. Left after that. Did I not just turn in circles? Left. Straight. And then right. Then we should be at the exit now. And then right. We good? We good, bro? I wish he could move faster, though. Is that my exit? Yay. Finish. Bob. Bob. If it wasn't for my ability to teleport you around, you would have ended up having lots of piercings. I really thought this would be an easy task for you. A set of spot-on instructions that you just had to follow. Such a disaster. I made it. I guess only when the white doors work once in a while. The fuck is that noise? Technically, I'm still on floor 13. That is annoying as fuck. Do you know what's the difference between me and you, Bob? I know the truth. And you... will live a lie. Hmm. Please do explain, Mr. Narrator. Enlighten me. Am I in an infinite loop now? Don't tell me I'm in a loop. Yes, I'm in a loop. So God. absorbed in your own world that you cannot understand how fragile it is. I am independent. I can conquer.
conquer the whole world. God damn it. Hey. Uh, of course. There's no more doorknobs. What the fuck? And look where that thinking got you now. You need to comprehend the situation here. You were going in circles. Perhaps you noticed that? Yes, yes I did, Mr. Narrator. There is a handle. I was like, oh fuck, is that door doesn't have a handle? Or perhaps you need me to tell you. See how independent you are? You need me, Bob. You really do. Hmm. Just tell me where I need to go, man. I don't want to do this anymore, man. You're creeping me out. Oh. How many times am I going to have to go around this fucking hallway more? Even if it wasn't me, you always will have a narrator in your life, Bob. Someone to tell you what to do. Someone. I see what you're saying. Can we have just one of those spike drops? Just end it? Just these damn infinite hallways? Oh great, now there's nothing. Mr. Narrator, I followed your instructions. Yes, I made a mistake in the course. I didn't listen to you once. I understand this all needs to sink in your head. It's a lot to process. So, I'll give you some time to yourself. I'm sure that a moment from now start getting a grasp of what's right and what's wrong. Do not worry though. I will always be Let's try to go the other way. At the back of your mind, calmly waiting for that moment to arrive. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool. The hallway slowly fading out of existence. I might try to actually try to get the other ending. I came up with an idea to ensure you'll take this seriously. If Bob doesn't drink water in the next two minutes, he will die. It seems like this adventure isn't too unique for you. You've done it before. How else would you know that you have to go to the kitchen, open the drawer, take the boss's cup, and pour water in it? You must have really enjoyed the game to return for another playthrough. Well, <laughs> I am flattered. You know the drill. The apartment is all yours to look around. Hold on. Bob forgot his shoes in the apartment. He should go back and put them on. Comfy. All right. Let's keep going. Let's this time we're going to listen to him all the way.
don't answer. It isn't your phone. Just turn around and walk away. The door don't want to open. That took a while. Was that door even there? Bob thought. Another choice. How quirky. Let's go to horror path this time, see what happens. Ah oh, shit. Ugh. Yeah. Just go center. Just don't look. Oh shit! Bazinga! Bazinga! Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! I got you with one of my classic tricks. Uh, it was a good one. I have to say, it was a good one. And so Bob managed to get past this horrifying and deadly maze safely. Yes. Now please let me not go into the infinite loop. I've listened to you, my master. Okay. Ooh, okay. Is this the exit? I really hope that it is. As the elevator descended towards freedom, Stan, um, uh, Bob. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Bob, Bob was, um, Bob felt a strong sensation. There you go. There, there's the reference I was waiting for. black screen appears and abruptly ends the demo here all right well that was the unique adventure demo hopefully you guys enjoyed we got both endings uh, that was the uh, what i wanted to do of course definitely go try out this game for yourself i'm uh i i i, I don't i don't want to spend the time trying there, you you guys can go and try out the little finicky things too uh, I wanted to go in myself and just like try and like really don't listen to him whatsoever see what uh, it's probably gonna give me the bad ending i got the first time around but yeah, this time around, I just listened to him all the way without making one mistake. And it was good. Uh, I have to say, it's a very good game. I can't wait to see what they would do with a full version of a game of this game. So definitely go check it out on Indie Indiegogo. I'll leave a link in the description below for the demo and the, the, the Indiegogo link, uh, of course. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate that. Follow me everywhere, MeTimeGamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer. Where I, where I release a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Sorry, I was I started thinking about other things. Oh yeah, what I wanted to say. Of course, what you, if you if you want to uh, give your opinion on the game, leave leave a comment in the comments below. Sorry, that, that's what I was thinking about, and then I fucked it up at the end. What, what the fuck? Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.